Inside the tabernacle, every detail holds significance. The altar symbolizes sacrifice, the basin purity, the lampstand represents God's light, the table his provision, the incense altar signifies prayer, the curtain his separation. As I stand here, I am reminded of the sacredness of this place, where God's presence dwells among his people. As I reflect on the passing of Moses, a towering figure in our history, I am reminded of his unwavering faith and leadership. His journey from the Exodus to the Ten Commandments has left an indelible mark on our beliefs and values. Moses' legacy loves on through the teachings he imparted and the laws he delivered. Though his physical presence may be gone, his spirit and teachings continue to guide us today. The death of Moses marks the end of an era, but his impact will forever endure in our hearts and minds. I stood there, outnumbered, facing the Midianites. Armed with just 300 men, we devised a plan to defeat them. With torches hidden in clay jars, we surrounded their camp. At my signal, we smashed the jars, revealing the blazing torches, and shouted, a sword for the Lord and for Gideon. The Midianites panicked, turning on each other in confusion. Victory was ours that day, not by our might, but by the power of faith and strategy. I'm Gideon, a man of doubt and faith. When I tested God by laying out a fleece, I sought reassurance for my mission. The dew soaked the fleece while the ground remained dry, a sign of divine presence. But still, I doubted. So, I asked for another sign, this time the opposite. And once again, God proved his power. Through these tests, I learned to trust in his guidance and stepped into my destiny as a mighty warrior. 